this national day was prompted by a murder, an event that happened 33 years ago. And so I think there's some sense of why do we need to revisit this, right? But I think tonight's event, what we did here in Huntsville is we read the 52 names of women who were killed in Ontario this year, since late 2021 until now. And that's, it's a really difficult thing to do. It's a very powerful thing to do. Um, but we hope that by reading the names and a little bit of their stories, and not how they died, but how they lived, mm -hmm. right, with one another, brings a sense of honoring them, remembering them, um, recognition that it affected, um, it affects families and lives and communities um, across our, our province um, and further right, on this day. And so it, it's, it's hard. It's definitely hard. It's not for everyone um, to hear it, to read it. Um, there were tears here today for sure. Um, but I think it's a way for us to mark the day. And we spoke a little bit about what we can do you know, going forward. The women who have died that we recognize tonight, um, they were lived and they loved, right? And they were uh, loved by so many people around them. What is truly devastating is that there was somebody in their lives who perhaps couldn't love themselves enough that they felt that they needed to take that away from somebody else, right? And it wasn't theirs to do, right? It's such a devastating loss, right? Uh, and it's so unnecessary, right? It's, um, there's really not, you, you don't go back. There's really no words, right? Um, but we're here to remember and honor the women who uh, have lost their lives this year.